with me. The iPhone 10, the Galaxy Note 8, and the Google Pixel 2 XL, and we're going to test these out to see how fast they charge. Now the Galaxy Note 8 and Galaxy lineup in general in the past few years has always had fast charging. That's something that's kind of ingrained in the Galaxy lineup. The Pixel 2 XL does have the fast wireless charging uh, through USB-C. And even though the iPhone 10 is the most expensive phone on this list, depending on the exact variant that you get, it does not come with the ingredients needed for fast charging. So in this video, we're going to be comparing the chargers and the cables that come out of the box with all three of these devices to see which one is fastest. So they're off to the races, I plugged in the power strip at the same time so they would all start at a fair time. So at 15 minutes we have the Note 8 coming in about a percent per minute, the Pixel coming in about half a percent, and the iPhone coming in at a third percent per second. At 30 minutes we have the Note 8 soaring in at 32 percent, the Pixel is at 11 percent, and the iPhone's at 15 percent. At this point I'm kind of just checking the settings to see if something's up because this is really weird that the Pixel would be this slow. However, at a minute, we have the Pixel soaring to 75% above the Note 8 68, and then of course we have the iPhone, again about a half percent per minute at its dismal 29%. At 80 minutes, we have them about tied up, 89 and 88 for the Note 8 and Pixel, with the iPhone at its just awful 39%. Like that is, that's just really slow. And then 105 minutes, we have the Note 8 complete at 100%, and we have the Pixel going down in percent. I don't understand what's happening here, um, it's really, really weird, and then we have the iPhone still, just dismal. I would assume that the Pixel would have finished with the Note 8, but because it hasn't, I'm just going to leave it charging until it does reach 100. Alright, so cut forward a long time, and the Pixel finally finished at around 3 hours. Doesn't really make sense, considering the fact that it basically was done uh, right around with the Note 8, but then went down, and then really slowly went back up. And the iPhone just was awful. At around 3 hours and 5 minutes, it hit about 85%. So you can tell by the results of that that the Note 8 won. Like, it, it just won. It was pretty good. Uh, like, an hour and 40 minutes to get 100%. And a lot less than that to get, you know, 90%, like what you would need to get through a day. So that was really impressive. Pixel 2 XL was really weird. It started super, super slow, boosted up, and then started going down. Um, I'm not really sure what was happening with that. Basically, the amount that you would need, like the 80, 90%, uh, it did that very quickly on par with the Note 8. So that's kind of what I'm going with in terms of judging the speed. But then the iPhone 10, oh my goodness, that is so slow. That's the type of charger you'd want when you have all night long to charge it. If you're looking for a quick charge, you're going to want to invest in a higher wattage charging output because um, that's basically